Hey guys, Strong Commander here. Welcome back to another episode on Hogwarts Legacy. If you missed the previous episodes, there will be a link down in the description to the playlist to the rest of the series. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Feels like the entrance to a horror game. Hello? Anyone want to kill me? Probably. So this is the underground harbor. Cool. Ah, frick. Yeah, they can. Can I get out? Thank can you. Can we the three broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. It's a date, guys. I got a girlfriend. Let's go. <laughs> Located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard is the landing for boats delivering first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. Alright, before I continue with this quest, I need to go to the three broomsticks, guys. Hello? Okay, thank you. Glad you came. I'm not here for you, I'm here for the girl right next to you. Hello. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Sounds good to me. We're probably going to get eaten, but sounds fun. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? <laughs> oh, like always, guys. We're just gonna spill and tell everyone everything we told Professor Fig. We weren't gonna tell anyone. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a porky that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Sweet. See you then. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Alright, I got it. This is a horrible walk away scene that I was trying to do. Hey, sir. You better be scrumming. Darn. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around. Let me look at the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Uh, I think. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book, if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Uh, oh yeah, sure, as long as I get my book. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Huh? I... Was I supposed to have previous knowledge of this? 
I, I guess the golden snidget. The golden snidget. Correct. Okay, cool. The snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? This was in the movies, right? I've only seen the movies once. This is, this is oh no. Um, the, wait. This one? The pepper up potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Oh, I know this one. The Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. <laughs> Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which born in Quidditch is the largest? Uh, not the Snitch. So... Bludger sounds like a big thing. The Bludger. I'm sorry. Never the mind. The correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows a drinker to change species. What? Oh, the, they're testing my Harry Potter movie lo uh, understanding. I've seen the movies once. This is not a good <laughs> quiz for me. Um... True? True. Actually, the answer was false. I don't One know, man. Potion can be used to change things such as age or race. It cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. Well, I guess. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. I mean, Rebellion <laughs> will make quick work of this. Rebellion. Uh, this book is designed to help guide the students who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley recommends it to her advanced students as a bit of a light read. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. I haven't been called Puffskeen Dunkeen once since you brought me that venomous tentacular leaf. You're I welcome. I am actually braver. Beautiful. Goodness. <laughs> yeah, she just Settle murdered the down. owl. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Commit tax fraud? Because I can do that very easily. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Beautifully done. Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Sweet. 
I'm pretty sure it says I'm 20% with all challenges, but I'm sure that's fine, right? Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but <laughs> it's a valuable potion. I've used it, like, twice already? Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? She knows. Um, yeah, because we are telling everyone all of our deepest darkest Professor secrets. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Cool. Can I go kill people? If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Glad to see you were paying close attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. So is it random every time? Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Alright. Oh, there was a fling right next to you. It wouldn't show up. Okay. Hi, no, Natty. Yeah. Um. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. My husband. What will I do? Um, you can always, you know, become a baker. Sorry, I gotta go follow my friend. Wait, who is? Oh, this is. Oh, this is Mrs. Bickle. Okay. Where are you, Archie? He's in the belly of a beast. Can I? Why can't I talk to her? Thank you. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. Oh. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? 
My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... Uh, <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. <laughs> you guys just watch Natty uh, run around in circles while uh, she said that? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! Revenue. would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Uh, Herodine Black Scale. Uh, the Herodine Black is a large dragon that can grow to over 9 meters in length, a large rough scale, or originally belonging to one of the, the uh, one of these beasts, is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Rebellion. There! Where? Footprints. He went this oh, way. Oh, okay. Oh! I'm not gonna tell you guys what I thought that was. Uh, yay, money! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Wolves, prepare for a fight. I think I like Glacius better. Oh shoot! I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Um. What are we looking for? Archie went this way. Well, I have no clue where you see that, but I'll just follow you. Oh, there we go. I have a bad feeling about this. Hollow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. What? Up? 
What? Y'all see how fat? Ah, I knew I should have used. Wait, hold up. I can do this again. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? Hold up. You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. Arrest them, man. I found comfort in it. I still do. I, I want a Thestral. Who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Gosh darn it. Come on. Down, boy. Darn. I almost had him. Oh. Don't mind me. Just gonna quickly... Arrest the momentum. You're being rescued. Stop resisting. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. Darn. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. <sighs> it was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, arrest him. It was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. Mm -hmm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. There are more Thestrals? Wait, what do you mean I'm straying from the... F I'm following the footprints. Natty! We're supposed to be following the footprints. Come on, go. Oh, we're about to fight Natty. I should do this selfie. Oh, I didn't realize I was locked onto that person. That one, but okay. Well, oh, not again. Yay! This video is going on way longer than intended, but it's fine. Lumos. Alright guys, I hate to end it there, but I this video's gone on way too long. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. If you did, give it a like, it really helps out the channel, and maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this. And without further ado, yeah, have a good one.